2021, one for the brave perhaps, but NatWest Group might be worth a look. Its recent third quarter figures showed a surprise swing back into profit. And in terms of a division which accounts for 40% of its revenue, the personal banking division, as it used to be called, now called retail banking, actually saw that a rise in income um, and the gauge of consumer activity that it shows uh, resulted in more mortgage applications and a strong start in that particular quarter. On top of that, the bank set aside another £254 million for potential bad loans following on from the pandemic crisis. This was rather better than the expected figure of £830 million, and it brings a cumulative total, along with many of the other banks, to somewhere around £3.2 billion. However, a big possible positive coming our way. If the vaccine were to lead to a quicker than expected economic recovery, perhaps some of those billions of pounds of bad debt provisions could actually be written down. On top of that, the bank is totally awash with capital and access to liquidity. That means that in the new year, should the regulator allow, there's a very strong case for a return to dividends and a fairly generous one at that. It's not all plain sailing, of course, the government still retains a 62% stake. And of course, the outcome of any Brexit negotiations could drag on the UK economy. But the shares are down by 30% over the year of 2020, because obviously the banks have had the double whammy of COVID as well as Brexit negotiations, not to mention historically low interest rates. Some of that is reflected in the market consensus, which is coming, currently coming in as a cautious buy. But having said that, contrary to what many are thinking, the picture in the garden could actually be looking a lot rosier.